Chad Fortune. Power forward over the years, even back to the NWO days, but best known for eight years in Superman. A new era in his career started last week on Speed when he brought out Captain America, took the truck all the way to the championship race, and was just one length behind Dennis Anderson and Gravedigger in the finale. But now we get to see his first ever Captain America freestyle. I gotta tell you, Scott, he's coming out of the box here with a vengeance, man. I mean, he's stoked up about this racing. He's looking good, man. You got to pick your battles. You know, you don't want to go out there and do donuts right away. You want to feel feel it out a little bit, but it's definitely conducive for some big air, uh, really high, high, a uh, lot of saves and, and, and a lot of high energy stuff. You know, when we talked to Chad there during the party in the pits earlier, it's just a, I mean, he's always been confident. He's always had an attitude, but, but just there's an air about him right now that, that he and this truck and this team, I mean, he seems like he feels stronger about his chances to win every time out. Oh, my. Than ever before, and that was sweet, and he pulled it right and back he, in. And he's driving differently. I mean, that right there, the racing last time out, he looked spectacular in his racing, super aggressive. This freestyle, <laughs> Chad, don't beat me up for saying this, buddy, but I gotta tell you, it's one of the best freestyles I've seen him do in a long time, if not ever. He's just attacking this course really strong. Well, and what he's doing is not just going for a wow moment, which no. we've seen him do at times before. I mean, this has been full of momentum, big hits, oh, yeah. combos, cross threads. You know, it's like you read the judging book and said, okay, yes. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you guys every one of these things. Oh boy, hang on. Come on, you got it, buddy, you got it. Wow. Yeah, nice save. Wow, wow. That's what I'm talking about. His driving style is completely different. He's looking spectacular. Cross thread combination, the judges are gonna love that as you are actually sitting in the cab of a truck and watching this one wrap up. What a great shot. Yeah, front end. Fortune puts on a show. Oh my, the front end appears to be broke on that truck, Scott. I would say he's got a broken axle in there. Based on the way it sounds and the way it's looking and handling, it just seems to be real squirrely in the back end, but he's gonna keep on going. It doesn't seem like he's got a lot of pull in the front end there, but he's just gonna keep pushing on. He's already filled the time. This is just bonus for the Atlanta fans. Absolutely, yeah, the front end is broke. It doesn't matter. Wow, listen to this crowd. The only guy who may be more disappointed, and I say that, Dennis is a fan too and loves what Cam did, as you can tell but he knows he's got to try to beat it. But you got to come out next if you're Chad Fortune yeah. and Captain America. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully Chad wasn't able to bear witness to what just happened there. And he's just thinking he's going to go out and do his just standard crazy off the hook freestyle. Because if he saw that, he's thinking to myself, I'm just going to back up and go park. You know, the, the other cool thing is we've seen a lot of familiar faces behind the wheel. But what about the new trucks? I mean, yeah. we're talking about Northern Nightmare. We've already seen Metal Militia, now Captain America. These are just incredible pieces. And they've all built huge fan bases right off the bat in their first year in advanced auto parts nice Jam competition. Man. Well, you, you talk about, you know, the familiar faces. You talk about the new trucks, the new chassis. I've got to say, you know, for, forgive me, Chad, big guy here, but he's like a new man in this new truck. He has just, like, come out with a whole new attitude, and his uh, driving ability seems to have changed 100%. He's loving this new ride, and it shows with his talent. Chad Fortune doing a nice job. And, and you know, everybody wants to win, but I gotta believe if you're Chad Fortune, Captain America, you can't think about what Cam McQueen did. You can't no, you try can't. and outdo him. You've got to run your freestyle, do the best you can do, give your fans what they came That's to right, see, Scott. and let the scores end up where they are. Be as they may, and, and as any driver is gonna tell you, I think really what you just said is you cannot have to have that stuck in your head. You've gotta go out there and go with your game plan, don't let anybody intimidate you. And that works for racing, and it works for the same for free. So you got to get out there and just run your big deal and go with your plan. Well, here's the bonus time now for Captain America and Chad Fortune. You know, the reason I make that point about the score, just looking at the stats, Northern Nightmare has just posted the third highest score in the 13-year history wow. of this competition. How about that? How hard is that going to be to beat? That's tough to top right there. But it can be done. There's room. Look at Chad, though. I'm, I'm going to tell you, he's airing this bad boy he out. He sure is. Captain America has just been a phenomenal truck all season long. You mentioned the fact that Fortune is 
put down runs like this all year. He has just yeah, been he really has. brimming with confidence. His team has worked out phenomenally. And yeah, he's a really, really got the start of something good here in this first year behind the wheel of Captain America. And now he's filled the clock. He's given the fans bonus. He's having fun. You think about that run with Cam McQueen, you think about these runs you're seeing, it's why you better be getting your tickets now for our next edition. Advanced Auto Parts Monster Jam World Finals 14. All the info is online at monsterjam.com. You can get double down tickets or your tickets to the event. You gotta be here live. Look at Chad. He's got the shield, he's got the pose. And you have a nice run. I love watching Chad Fortune go in this new piece, man. He has picked up his game tremendously, and, and we're good friends off the track, too, so it's exciting for me to see my good buddy out there ripping it up, man, and really strutting the stuff and having a piece of equipment that can keep up with him. Well, and that piece of equipment, to get that big air right there, he clips the top of that motor on. That just goes to show you, Ryan, how tall in the air he actually was. Yeah, he was way up there, but when he did that, it kind of I noticed the placement of that motorhome. I'm not too sure if that was a good spot for that because really to hit that, you have to roll over the one ramp. So it kind of makes it almost dull. Unless you can hit it from the side, they really haven't, I can't tell from this angle, but it doesn't have as big of an impact. Yeah, you, know, you, can't really, you can't really hit it with a lot of speed and you have to roll over that jump. So I don't know if that placement was the best, but either way, it'll look cool when you hit it. We're at MetLife Stadium, and what you fans are getting the treat to hear is what we hear in the pits all the time. A couple of drivers talking while the other guys are out there. Son of a digger, Ryan Anderson, the felons, Mark Schrader, and guys, Captain America's keeping it going. Well, you know, Chad is really getting after this track, but not as big as some of the other trucks prior to him coming out. He's got 23 seconds left remaining in regulation time. I'd like to see him step it up and really get some big air. You, you never know what he's got going in his head here, Ryan, to see where he's going and saving something big for last. When he's hitting those jumps straight on like that, everybody else has already hit that jump straight on and went big. So he's got to go, if he does the same thing straight on, he's got to go bigger. Right. But the one thing is, look at his time. He is now in the, he's getting ready to be in bonus time. So he's playing it safe and he might, that might help him out. But you got to think about what George did. That backflip is a huge point score. And he did that without bonus time. So there he goes. He made it through the motorhome. And listen to the fans. They're loving it, enjoying it. Great visual appeal there. Chad Fortune and Captain America. Getting a little crazy, tagging the one ramp with the back tire. That's pretty cool. He likes hitting stuff crazy sideways. You see that when he just spun in there all crooked? That's pretty cool, and he comes out of it sometimes in some wild angles. Wrapping up bonus time, so Chad Fortune and Captain America will, and now you see all the red lights go on the ribbon boards around the stadium. That tells Chad he has filled his time. But here's Chad Fortune, a good score, but it's not enough to displace George Bellhand. And that will start right now. You know, we have talked about Chad Fortune trying to be the 30 here now in Captain America and how as his career has developed, it seemed like perfect timing. Oh my! He hangs on! There's that, your biggest save so far. That was sick. And I don't think that he moves so little in reverse. I don't think the judges even, think even paid attention it. to that <laughs> because they're all wowed with that pogo save, if you will. Say, that's got to get you talking to yourself, though. <laughs> You're up on your nose like that. Man. Oh, yes. Staring again, down the, barrel the point the is that Fortune, as his career has developed, Captain America just seems to come along at a perfect time. It's a great piece. He fits with it so well, and he's uh -oh. never looked better. But Scott, Scott. well, he's looked better. I agree with me if Chad Fortune brings out Captain America. If you make it into bonus time, we'll consider that a win for the truck. If you don't, it's a win for the track. If that's the case, we're two and two right now. This Chad Fortune and Captain America, a veteran who can really rock the house at freestyle, but here's one where Chad's got to use the brain and not come out too big. Sometimes, I'm not sure this is a track for a guy who wants to start huge, because you do that, you could be done quick. You really could. It's, you know, you could, you're gonna be living on the edge if you go out here and you try to go big right off the bat, just for the survival of the truck. But you know what, it, it, that, that may be what it takes sometimes. You know, you see Chad Fortune here in the Captain America. He, Chad's been doing a real good job this year, really putting together some strong freestyles. Adam, I know you've been with him a, a bunch of places this year, and he's, he's been doing a great job. He really has. He's got a, a good crew chief that's really keeping the truck together, tuning the shocks on the truck for him, and really just keeping Chad in his place and keeping him moving out here on the track, as you can see. And Adam, I know we've talked about this before, and you and I know it firsthand. You know, that driver-crew chief relationship makes everything. I mean, it makes you more confident driver, confident in the truck, and 
And uh, when you have something like that with, with your crew chief, it really helps. It really does. And as you can see right here, his crew chief is probably on the radio pushing him right now, telling him to pick it up. And look at that, riding it down, wheeling it right across. That was unreal. Fortune doing an outstanding job here. I mean, he's covering every every corner of the track, hitting every obstacle. He's, he's mixing some big air in there with some nice technical stuff. And looks like the body doesn't want to go for the ride anymore, it doesn't look like. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Did he crash earlier? What's <laughs> happened here? Here it goes. Body's coming off of it. It's tough to see. Oh, the hood's popping off. It's getting in his way there a little bit. <laughs> you know, it's it's good to see Chad here. He's going end to end like people haven't done yet. He's going side to side. And uh, like you said earlier, there's no smooth place to land. Oh, there goes the hood. Oh, there you go. Oh, right back on Look at that. Look at that. Burning it. Wait you... a minute, gentlemen. Is that Captain America or Spider-Man? Let Spider-Man <laughs> climb the wall. He's using every that bit was... of the track and then some. That was unbelievable. That's 10,000 pounds. He drove sideways up the wall protection. Man, he's got a really great run. Going I can't. On I got to see the replay on that again. That's incredible. Wow. So Chad Fortune, Captain America, as these guys and girls continue to figure out who can handle the most incredibly treacherous and difficult track ever. Is that not fitting to determine our Monster Jam World Freestyle Champion? Or we're just getting started that pursuit. Fortune's really rolling the dice a couple times here. You see, he's got the rear steer swinging around and, and hanging up, hitting things crooked. It's this is a this is different for Fortune. You know, Fortune's usually a, a straight, straight narrow guy. Now he's really getting after doing everything from different angles. He's working it right now. He's really taking the track. He's uh like you said, he's approaching everything at different angles and taking the chance. And that's what it takes to take a win out there in Vegas. Yeah, like we talk about all the time, Adam. Uh, a save is a product of a bad decision. <laughs> and he's had, he's had a couple of those here, but he's, he's coming out looking great here. Chad's doing an awesome job, and that truck's holding tough, man. It's, it's taking a pounding out there for sure. So is the toughest thing on this truck the shield? That's the only thing that doesn't look damaged. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of times they go out there, and you want the truck to look good, but it's the mechanic side of it, Scott. You want to go out there, and you want to have it 110% underneath your butt out there on the track. And I, you got to think, though, too, that He's, he's, the time he's been out there, he's probably jumped more in this one freestyle than he had in one, one show all year. That's amazing, and, he, and he's done. He finished it. The truck lived. 